After operating in Cambodia for 14 years, Chinese apparel manufacturer Shenzhou International Group Holdings recently broke ground for constructing of a new $150 million garment factory called Marvel Garment Co. in Phnom Penh Special Economic Zone on the city outskirts. The factory is scheduled to be completed in March 2021 and will create 17,000 jobs. The Central Bank of Nigeria has placed access to foreign exchange for all forms of textile materials on the forex restriction list, Bank Governor Godwin Emifiel announced recently in Abuja while meeting representatives from the textile industry. The policy takes effect immediately. The step would rejuvenate the sector and reduce smuggling, he said. China State Machinery Industry Construction Group Incorporation will help Shino Tajikistan Kulia Textile Industry Park raise $300 million for processing cotton fiber in Tajikistan. The group's trade manager Hu Sina led a delegation of Chinese businessmen to the country and met Minister of Economic Development and Trade in March first week. Chile has abolished tariffs on Chinese textiles and clothing items with the coming into force of China-Chile Upgraded Free Trade Agreement with effect from March 1. The China-Chile Free Trade Zone has become China's free trade zone with highest level of open trade, according to China's Ministry of Commerce. The ACRA office of the Dubai Business Chamber is keen to offer guidance and assistance to the companies in Ghana's textile and fashion industry that are keen to penetrate the Dubai market. The office is now working on improving investment in the textile industry in the country, its head Cyril Darkhwa told a roundtable of stakeholders recently. China recently lowered its economic growth target and announced a major tax cut as policymakers seek to pull off a gradual declaration while facing a debt legacy and the trade war with the United States. Premier Lee Kikang's annual work report to the National People's Congress said the gross domestic product growth target at 6-6.5% to 6 range for 2019. The Competition Bureau of Canada recently issued an advisory cautioning customers that bamboo-labeled sheets, t-shirts and other textile products found in stores and online may not be as green as they seem as transforming bamboo fiber into soft fabrics for clothing, towels or bedding involves the use of a lot of environmentally harmful chemicals. World cotton production is expected to rise 6.8% with yields rebounding in several countries and area also rising, according to the first projections for 2019-20 season released by the US Department of Agriculture. In the US, cotton production is expected at 22.5 million bales based on higher planted area and sharply lower abandonment. Download Garment Textile Fashion News app and stay updated with more textile and fashion stories.